Before we get started, I wanted to take a few seconds and mention that if you want to learn Unreal Engine 4 from the very beginning without any previous knowledge or experience, then take a look at Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals. It includes 7 hours worth of video tutorials and you can find out more at worldofleveldesign.com slash store slash ue4 dash fundamentals dot php. Now let's get back to the tutorial. In this video you will learn 16 principles of how to learn Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 is a complete game engine. You can create high-end AAA title games. You can create mobile games. You can do architectural visualizations. You can do VR. You can do various simulations. You can also do cinematics. And I'm not even doing justice to this small list. And just to give you an idea of what kind of games can be created using Unreal Engine 4, you can visit Wiki Unreal page category games section right here. And just scroll down and take a look at all the games that are being developed or already released using Unreal Engine. So this will give you an idea of what is possible. So Unreal Engine is an extremely deep and very complex piece of software. And for a complete beginner starting to learn Unreal Engine, this is very daunting and the entire game engine is very intimidating. And the most common question that I hear is how do you get started? Where do you even begin? So in this tutorial, I wanted to cover how you would learn Unreal Engine 4 as a complete beginner. I'll give you the 16 principles to follow. So when you open up Unreal Engine and you begin to learn it, you'll have a systematic guideline to follow of what you should focus on and what you should ignore. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn five recommended projects that you should start with. What you should not do as your first starter project you'll decide what you want from Unreal Engine and what your goals should be as a complete beginner, how much time you should dedicate to start learning Unreal Engine, and that you should only focus only on what you need to know right now. We'll cover how games are created and how custom environments are created with Unreal Engine. These will be broad overviews and they'll give you an idea of what goes into designing and creating games and custom environments. So let's go ahead and begin with our 16 principles to start learning Unreal Engine 4. Very first thing you should do is download and install Unreal Engine 4. It is completely free and you can download it at unrealengine.com. If you go to the website and then click on get Unreal, this will take you to a sign up page. Go through the sign up and then you'll be able to download Unreal Engine. If you want to follow along and know exactly what you need to do to download and install, I do have a tutorial that goes more into depth of how to download and install Unreal Engine 4. The recommended specs are listed here. This is what your computer should have in order to run Unreal Engine. And for updated specs or to view them online, visit this link. And you'll be able to check if the specs have been changed, updated, and you can view it for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Principle number two is what do you want from Unreal Engine 4? Before starting to learn any game engine, you should have a goal. Do you want to create a game? Use it for architectural visualization? Do you want to use it for a game environment art? Maybe you want to create playable levels for a game? Or maybe you want to create cinematics? So as a complete beginner, narrow this down to a single focused outcome. Why do you want to learn Unreal Engine? What outcome are you after? Once you decide, learning Unreal Engine 4 will be a lot easier because you'll know what you need to learn, what tutorials you should be looking for, and it'll give you that focus that you need in order to start creating something with Unreal Engine. Principle number three is you do not want to create a game or a custom game environment as your first project. So creating a game or a custom game environment contains a lot of different disciplines and skills. Each skill requires its own time to learn and develop outside of Unreal Engine 4. So what you want to do is keep that big idea that you want to do a game or a full large open world custom game environment, but do not do this as your first project when you begin learning Unreal Engine. 
and I will cover five recommended projects that you should start with. So for the next two principles, let me cover the steps, how our games and custom game environments are created. And I want to mention that this is a broad overview and this does not include every single step that you need to know in order to create a custom game. So first, everything starts with an idea. So once you have an idea, you would then usually go into concept art and develop a visual style of the game, how the game will look. You would then move on to gameplay concept. This is where you create a game design document and figure out how your game is going to play. And the next step is when you gameplay prototype. So you take all the ideas and the game design document and then you begin to code or script core game mechanics. You would then move on to refine and finalize gameplay mechanics and at the same time as you're doing all of this you would be creating 3D static meshes or 3D models. You would be creating animations, particle effects, audio and level design where you prototype gameplay and test gameplay mechanics as a player inside the level. You would eventually move on to optimizing, packaging, then releasing your game. Now many of these steps overlap during production. So this is not a step-by-step -step process. This is more of an overall guideline that kind of goes through when you're making a game. And testing and bug fixing would be a constant process throughout the entire game creation process. If you are creating a custom game environment for Unreal Engine, here are basic overview steps that you would go through. Again, I want to mention that this is a broad overview and not the pipeline, but one of many. So first you would create a 3D model. You would either start with a high poly mesh or a low poly mesh first. You would then UV low poly for textures, UV low poly for light maps, if it's a static mesh and not dynamic. You would then optimize low poly, bake high poly to low poly, and bake any other textures if needed. You would then create a level of detail, custom collisions, export that 3D model, and import it into Unreal Engine 4. You would then create or paint textures, export all of the textures, and import them into Unreal Engine, then create materials, finalize all static meshes and materials. You would then prototype and blacken the level with PSP brushes, set up blueprint for gameplay mechanics if you have any, and construct the game environment inside the Unreal Engine with final static meshes, replacing all of the VSP brushes. So as you can see, creating a game or a custom game environment requires a lot of different steps, a lot of different disciplines, and as you begin to learn Unreal Engine 4, this will be overwhelming to a beginner. This is why I do not recommend that you start creating a game or a custom game environment as your first project. So as a complete beginner, what should you start with? And this goes through knowing how to create and manage your projects, know how to viewport navigate, know how to use the content browser, work with objects and static meshes, how to use BSP to block in a level layout, how to use static meshes to construct your environments. You have to know how to insert and use different lights, such as a directional light, a spotlight, and a point light. Know how to manage your scene, Know which objects or actors are required to be a part of your environment, such as a light mass importance volume, a player start, fog. You will also need to know how to build your environment to correct scale and proportion. This is extremely important. And how to build your entire environment or render it. Also, you'll need to know how to play test from inside the editor and use various shortcuts that you can speed up your workflow and make your environment creation process a lot faster. Now, I know these don't sound exciting, but these are the fundamentals that will help to get you there. And all of these steps you'll be performing throughout the entire process, whether you're a beginner or an advanced user with Unreal Engine. So what you wanna do is set aside at least one hour each day for the first two to four weeks. Now you can do more than one hour, but that one hour is your minimum. As you start your very first Unreal Engine 4 project, you want to use one of the game templates that comes with Unreal Engine. When you launch Unreal Engine Launcher, go ahead and open up Unreal Engine version that you're working with. And when you click over to new projects, you will have a set of game templates with basic gameplay mechanics already scripted for you. So you want to choose one of these 
as you start one of your first projects. So you have something to work with. Also, before you create your project, make sure that you have starter content enabled. This will give you a set of static meshes, materials, particle effects, audio that you can use in your project and you have some assets to work with. So your first recommended project as you begin to learn Unreal Engine is to create a small environment with starter content. A few guidelines is you want to keep this project and this environment very small. Remember, your goal is to learn Unreal Engine 4 functionality, the fundamentals and the principles of using the game engine. So you want to create a small environment, such as a single room, a hallway, or a small exterior area with starter content. So go ahead and pick a small idea that supports the starter content assets and start learning Unreal Engine using those assets. So what you're really doing here is you are setting a small project to learn a skill. And this is the core of learning any skill. You create a small project that can be completed in a short amount of time and your goal is to acquire a new skill set. So basically you follow these steps. You set up a small project, define a clear outcome, a goal that you want to achieve at the end of this project. Work for at least one hour per day, minimum, and have something to show at the end, a screenshot or a video of what you've done. This is how you acquire any skill as you move forward with Unreal Engine 4. You're also training yourself to finish what you start. The key is to focus on learning a skill that you need to know right now. And this is the fundamental principle of learning any game engine, especially Unreal Engine 4, as you saw how deep the list is when you are creating a game or a custom game environment. And there are a lot of skill sets that you would need to learn along the way. So this is what we're doing right now. The skill that we need to learn is basic fundamentals of Unreal Engine 4. And the steps that we are following is we're setting a project, such as the very first project of creating a small environment using starter content. You would find a tutorial to accomplish that goal. You watch or read the tutorial, and then you put what you learn into practice right away. You learn that skill, have a result to show, and then you move on to the next skill. And with that in mind, your second recommended project is to create an environment with custom content. You want to create a small environment with a set of new custom static meshes, but you want to use existing static meshes. Do not create your own custom static meshes just yet. We are focusing on learning Unreal Engine 4, not modeling, texturing, or doing that entire pipeline. You are expanding your Unreal Engine knowledge beyond the beginner by forcing yourself to create a larger and unique environment using a set of static meshes already created. In this project, you are free to explore any idea you want as long as the set of static meshes that you're using support the idea. Your third recommended project is to learn Blueprint and to create a basic level interaction. Blueprint is the visual scripting language inside Unreal Engine. Before it was called Kismet in UDK and it has been replaced by Blueprint. You can script most of the gameplay and game mechanics inside the editor without ever writing or compiling code. All the scripting is done inside Unreal Engine. So as your third recommended project, you want to learn the basics of Blueprint. And these should include opening and closing a door, switching on and off a light, creating a moving platform, triggering an event, activating an event or an action such as on level load and player spawn, and adding an interaction via a button or a text on screen. If you can do all of these, it will set you up to explore more complex ways of using Blueprint. And Blueprint is essential to learn for level designers and game designers. Your fourth recommended project is to deconstruct and recreate any Blueprint game template. This is a great way to go beyond the beginner of using Blueprint and begin constructing a game mechanic. And the fastest way to learn that is to deconstruct and recreate a Blueprint from any of these templates when you created a new project. So when you set up a new project, and you chose Blueprint and any of these templates, you can deconstruct the Blueprint of how this template was created. 
So here is a first person gameplay template. And if I go in the content browser and go to first person blueprint, I can open up these blueprints and take a look inside. And we can see that all of these have been commented out. So you can take a look at how the jump was created, spawn projectile, mouse input. Let's go ahead and close this. We can also take a look at first person HUD. So by deconstructing an already existing game template, you can reverse engineer and learn how that particular game template was created. Your fifth recommended project is to learn how to model your own static meshes and import them into Unreal Engine 4. For this, you will need to learn a 3D modeling software and all of the steps that are required, such as how to model, how to UV, texture, light map, create materials, and then export and import everything into Unreal Engine 4. So basically for this project, you are learning the pipeline of creating and importing custom content. And the last principle for learning Unreal Engine 4 is to ask for help. Now this is an obvious principle, but before you go online and look for answers, make sure you exhaust your own resources and problem solving skills. So if you get stuck, make sure you spend some time trying to figure it out yourself. The places that I recommend that you go looking for answers are World Level Design Unreal Engine 4 Tutorials, Unreal Engine Answer Hub, Unreal Engine 4 Forums, Unreal Engine YouTube Channel, Google, and YouTube. These should be enough to, if you ever get stuck, you'll find your answers here. I hope this tutorial gave you some insight on how to begin learning Unreal Engine 4. And if you follow and complete all five projects that are recommended in this video, you will be in a great position to create any game environment inside Unreal Engine 4. And please take a look at Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals. This is a premium tutorial series. It will show you how to use Unreal Engine 4 from the very beginning.